kindergarten where kindness matters every day words by vera ahia pictures by joey chu this is leo leo is quiet he likes to read in quiet play games in quiet even dance in quiet he likes to talk to his mom and dad papa grandmommy and tulip but leo likes to be quiet with everyone else today leo is worrying about his first day of kindergarten why is leo worried because a letter just arrived from his new teacher Kindergarten, where kindness matters every day. Dear Leo, my name is Miss Perry. I will be your kindergarten teacher this year. On our first day, we will talk about how we are going to make our kindergarten into a kinder garden. So please come ready to share some ways you know how to be kind. This year will be filled with new and exciting adventures. We will learn so much together. I can't wait to meet you. Love your teacher. For the next two weeks, Leo thinks about Miss Perry's letter every day. I don't want new and exciting adventures, he says to his dad. What do I know about kindness? He asks Tulip. I don't want to share anything with the new class, he whispers to Grandmommy. On the first day of school, Miss Perry greets Leo with a smile. Welcome, Leo, she says. Are you ready for your first day of kindergarten? Leo's heart goes, ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. But he nods, and then he whispers, I'm not sure. I understand how you feel, Leo. Anytime we do something new, it can feel scary, Miss Perry says. Let's make a plan. If you feel worried, just let me know. We can figure out what to do together. Now, let's go into the classroom and I'll introduce you to a new friend. Leo already likes Miss Perry but he still feels worried. Leo, meet Lanisha, Miss Perry says. Hi, Lanisha says, looking up from a city she has been building out of blocks. But just as she looks up, crash. Oh no, Lanisha says. The sound of the crash is loud. Leo wants to run to a safe, quiet corner of the room. But instead, he makes himself stay right where he is, helping Lanisha pick up the scattered pieces. As Lanisha and Leo finish cleaning up the blocks, Miss Perry calls the students to join her on the carpet. Hello again, everybody, says Miss Perry. Let's start by talking about the letter I sent to each of you. Today, we are going to make a kindness pledge. We'll write down the different things we can do to make our kindergarten classroom a kinder garden. Who wants to start? Leo feels nervous. What if Miss Perry calls on him? Luckily, she calls on Juan. I raised my hand to share. I think that's a way to be kind. Juan is half joking, half serious. Everyone giggles. You are right, Juan, Miss Perry smiles. It's kind to raise our hands before sharing. A girl in the front is bouncing up and down. Yes, Chelsea. I say nice words to my friends like please and thank you or I love the way you drew that cat. 
Nice words are the best words, agrees Miss Perry. Let's add that to our pledge. After adding a few more ideas to the kindness pledge, Miss Perry announces, It's time to move our bodies. Let's take a tour of the school. And remember, as we explore, to keep looking for ways to be kind so we can add them to our kindness pledge. The first stop is a small office. Leo likes Nurse Melissa's round face and big smile. Right next door is the library. When Leo sees a whole row of books about space, his heart does a happy dance. He loves planets. Leo wonders where they'll go next. The gym is the biggest room by far. PE teacher Ms. Lauren has a question for the class. Does anyone have any ideas about ways we can show kindness in PE class? Many hands fly into the air. It's kind to ask others to play with you, cheers Ronaldo. It's kind to not leave anyone out, Hannah chimes in. If you see someone fall down, help them up, suggests Naomi. Those are excellent ideas, says Miss Perry. Let's go back to the classroom and add them to our kindness pledge. After lunch, the class heads outside for recess. On the way, Leo nearly trips. Oh no, he thinks, looking down. How can I be ready for kindergarten when I don't even know how to tie my own shoes? Just then, Miss Perry appears at his side. May I? She bends down to fix his laces and speaks to him softly. Leo, she says, I know you will have fun at recess, but sometimes it can get noisy out there. Could I introduce you to a few friends who I think you'll have fun with? Leo nods. Miss Perry introduces Leo to Mason, Marcus, and Emmy. The new friends say hello, and Marcus offers Leo some chalk. After recess comes art class. Ms. Page greets the students. Welcome to the studio, friends. Today you will draw pictures to decorate your kindness pledge. Please feel free to use any of the materials. Leo's classmates spread out and get straight to work. But Leo isn't sure where to sit or what to create. At home, he loves to draw. He even knows how to draw the entire solar system. But kindness? He's not sure how to draw that. When the students get back to the classroom, Ms. Perry says, Our kindness pledge is looking great. But before we leave for the day, let's add a few more. Did you see any examples of kindness today? Kindness Pledge. Raise a hand to share. Use kind words. Stay in your own body space. Take turns. Include others when we play. Remember we don't say, you can't play. If someone falls down, help them back up. Say sorry when you make a mistake. Lucy speaks first. Can we add cleaning up our mess to the list? She asks. I think that's important. Yes, very good, Lucy. Anyone else? What else did you see? Ms. Perry scans the room. Leo shuts his eyes, hoping it will make him invisible. Zochitla raises her hand. I liked it when Ms. Page apologized for saying my name wrong. She said she's going to practice and get it right next time. Phew, Leo thinks as Ms. Perry calls on Lanisha. But then 
he hears his name. Leo helped me pick up my block pieces this morning after my city tumbled down. That was kind. Leo opens his eyes. More hands rise into the air. I saw Leo picking up a bandage wrapper when we went to the nurse's office. Leo was holding the door open for us at the library. And Leo helped me get up when I fell in P.E. Leo opened my lunch for me when I couldn't. Leo stands in wonder. Leo, Miss Perry proclaims, you really know how to be kind in kindergarten. And it's a good reminder that kindness isn't just in the words we say, it's also in what we do. Leo can't believe his ears, while his heart makes the same ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. He feels something else too. This must be what it feels like to be ready for kindergarten. At dismissal, Miss Perry says goodbye to each student one by one. She has so many ways to say goodbye. She gives smiles, fist bumps, and even high fives. She also thanks each student for helping to make the kindness pledge and for being kind. When it's Leo's turn, he has something to say even before Ms. Perry can speak. Thank you for being kind, Ms. Perry. See you tomorrow. This is Leo on the second day of kindergarten. Sometimes he is still quiet, but sometimes he isn't. And no matter what, he is always kind.